Okay, try to keep these relatively short without going into a full 20 minutes here. That's why I break them up into different segments. Part 5. Part 1, intro. Part 2, petition signing process. Why it's extremely important. Part 3, what I found out about as far as registering as a Democrat or Republican versus, the, versus an independent. Part 4 was the first half of why... Here's, re here's the best reasons in the world why to learn about the candidates and to get out and vote because our country is nothing but a, the government from the federal to the local level point blank nothing but a business and a corporation and the other corporations and businesses and other businesses do not control it we do I, I left off with if you're if you're an 18 if you're 18 years old and you just registered to vote, congratulations, you're a board member of that corporation. Here's the reason why. I don't care how much money is dumped into a politician's campaign fund. I don't care if billions and even trillions of dollars are dumped into that campaign. It doesn't mean a damn thing. It really doesn't. Because that politician is not employed by anyone but the registered voters of that small town, that city, that state, and our, and our federal government. Every single registered voter is a member of the board of the government, of the local, state, and federal government. The reason why it's a board is because every sing because when a politician runs for office, all they are doing is saying, "Either I, <clears throat> either I would like to work for your company, or I would like to extend the contract that you gave me to work for your company." And again, the company is the local, state, federal government. Okay, every single elected official has to, that's all they are saying. Period. Point blank. The reason they are, they are nothing but employees of every single United States citizen that is registered to vote. Every elected official is nothing but an employee. Every single registered voter is a member of the board that says, that says, yes, we think you will do the job you are applying for. Or we, we like, okay, you impressed us so far. We will give you, we will extend your contract because we believe you will continue the job that you were hired for. Or, you're not qualified for this job, or you know what? You screwed up. So guess what? You're fired. That, look, honestly, look at politics, look at the election process, look at our government on all levels, and elected officials, look at it from that angle. People say, myself included, up until recently, doesn't matter. My vote doesn't matter. What I think doesn't matter. Look at it from that angle. Look at it from you are a member a member of the board of three boards. Of the, you are a board member on three of a, of a company on three different levels: the local, the state, the federal level. Okay. Period. Every single reg U.S. United States citizen and registered voter has a say. At election, whether or not the people running for elect, running for elect office, or running for another term in office, have are will be hired, or have their contract extended, because when a politician is in term, you know, does get elected or reelected, we're just giving them another two or four year contract. That's all we're doing period 
we're hiring them to do we they are asking us to hire them or extend the contract and they are trying to convince us they are giving their education their background in politics and government their background in business it's nothing but their resume all we have to do is to look at it the responsibility for all th for for the united for our government does not fall on the big corporations it doesn't does not fall on all the money the billion the all the money dumped into the political campaigns the responsibility for us for our government still falls on every single United States citizen who's registered to vote in this country we are the board members we can hire we have every right to hire and fire the people that we think will do the best job so it's not the old saying does not apply if you don't vote don't bitch here's a new one if you don't want if you do not want to if you don't if you do not learn about the people that you are hiring it's your own damn fault if you know for things getting screwed up and here is the main point learn about the candidates because once they are once we decide to give them a contract or extend their contract and if they screw up after that point it's a lot harder to fire them than when they're asking for that job or you know it's a lot it's a lot harder to fire them after the fact so hopefully this will this caused you to look at the campaign and the political in our the, our government and the political system from a different angle and hopefully this will spark your interest and say guess what you know what I'm actually this coming election and every election after this I'm going to I'm a, I'm a member of the board of this corporation and this company called the United States of America it's partially I'm one of the people who are responsible to see for how it is controlled and it is run I'm going I'm going to I'm going to take that responsibility seriously Michael Phoenix founder of the magazine take care everybody stay safe in the night and always and spring is coming although I'm holding off till April for the temperatures to warm up consistently thanks for the support everybody it means a hell of a lot hopefully you enjoyed this series about uh, about politics and what I've learned and the way I, and the way I look at uh, in the way I look at uh, our government and hopefully it sparks some interest you know and it achieved its goal and sparked your interest stay safe in the night and always to your family and friends seriously I'll see you around later